you know, we were the only, the second team to take a match off of Northern out of their 10 win, game win streak. Um, so I think it just comes down to us being mentally ready. I think physically we're ready, um, but I think we get in our own heads a little bit. Um, you know, there's no doubt that the girls want to win and the girls, but I think sometimes it surprises them at how good they are and how they can compete with people. Um, so hopefully we just need to get that attitude of we deserve to be on the same court as Northern. They put their shoes on the same way we put our shoes on um, and just go out there and play the game. Yeah, I think um, preseason kind of showed us like what we're capable of. Um, kind of just being able to just play the game, not really knowing how the team on the other side really is going to react and just being able to just simply play. Like it starts with a pass, a set, a hit. And um, I think um, we should kind of just grew as a team, like over spring season and over the preseason tournaments. I think we just kind of clicked a little bit better and our confidence has just kind of grown ever since the preseason tournaments. Shelby, how can you guys avoid possibly like playing up to a great team like number three Northern versus maybe playing down to some of your other opponents? How can you just keep some consistency and not kind of fluctuate? Um, I think our key really is just service ease and also just being able to run our faster offense that we have. Um, and just kind of, again, being able to play our game that we know that we can play and kind of just not really worry about who's on the other side of the net and control our side. Dan, what do you think about that just from the bench of what you see? I think we got to control the controllables, and we talk about that a lot. Um, we can control a lot of things on our side, um, and sometimes we get a little bit rattled um, when the other team does certain things that we can't control. Uh, but if we just control what we can control, then we'll be okay. And um, you know, making sure that we move our feet into serve receive position, um, talking on serve receive, running our faster offense, being creative. We get a little bit when things aren't going right. We get a little bit complacent. Um, we get predictable on the offensive side. So um, that's one focus we're going to take into this week is just being a little bit more creative. And I thought we did that a little bit more against Northern um, because I felt like the girls felt they had nothing to lose, so they just played. And I think that's what they have to go in it to every game and just we have nothing to lose, like nothing at all. So just go and play every game. How do you go from just competing with a team like Northern to actually upsetting a ranked team? Well, we're going to have many opportunities, uh, you know, in the NSIC. I think, you know, it just starts from the girls just playing consistently for those, you know, those games um, and not going up and down. Um, a team against a, a team like Northern will continuously come at you, um, and we've got to be ready, and we can't just show up for the first 10 minutes. And then um, if you notice against Northern, we were there, and we had the lead, and then we made mistakes, and we can't make mistakes against good teams like that. So we have to make sure that we control every aspect of the court on our side and eliminate those runs that teams get get on us because of us not being disciplined. What are you guys up against when you go down to you marry this week? You know, it's just another game. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, we understand the importance of um, playing the in-state rival. Um, but for us, like I told the girls, it's just another Tuesday game. And we're just going to go down there and be prepared and play the game. And, you know, we know that, you know, it's a smaller gym, so we know the atmosphere is going to be great. Um, you know, it's a rival game. But to us, it's just another game. Dana, how could you talk about Shelby's performance this year and, you know, two all tournaments, broke a school record, has been really consistent and, and good for you. Talk about her performance this year. Um, you know, Shelby's played really well, and, and Shelby's now starting to realize that because of her success, teams are making sure that they have a double block on her every time. And I think what separates Shelby last year to Shelby this year is Shelby's really learning how to do high hands, um, being able to now attack a block, being able to tool a block. And when she gets that chance to put that money shot down, she does. So she's just become a more complete volleyball player, um, especially on the front row side. But she's also done a lot of work and puts in a lot of extra work every day um, on her defensive side. So she can stay on that court for us. Um, so she's just become a lot smarter. Um, of course, she's gotten stronger every year, um, but she has more tools in her pocket more than she's ever had before. Yeah. Shelby, as you become a more complete player, I mean, how much does that add to it? I don't know. I always um, I mean, being able to stay on the court, I think, is 
um, effective, like, because then I can hit in the back row when we're struggling in serve receive or whatever. Um, but I think, like, I also have to give, like, kudos to, like, our middles and our right sides. They always are pulling blocks, and it's also my job to pull a block for them. So I think, um, I think just being able to trust my teammates that they're going to pull the blocks for me to be successful, and they're able to trust me to get them the one-on-one -on -one chance that they are going to have. So just like being able to work together, because in the end, it's not just me. Like Everyone is helping me, and we're all trying to help the other people. So they do get that chance to be successful at the front row and get a hit that they need.